I am Matthew Irving Epstein, and I wrote, directed, and produced Cuddle Party. Very good, very good, which is hilarious, by the way. Thank you. All right, so first question I always ask, what sparked the inspiration to start this project? Uh, initially, what sparked it is I went to a cuddle party, which, <laughs> which for those who don't know what it is, it's, it's an intimacy workshop where you go and you work through issues through cuddling. Um, I went very much as a writer, researcher, thinking that like this is going to be hilarious, this is going to be such good material. Right away, I thought that. But in the end, I went and I saw that it was like a really healthy environment. And there was a lot of people there who were really getting a lot out of it. And so instead of making a film that lampooned cuddle parties, I made a film about an earnest cuddle party with these two terrible people, um, <laughs> played by Mikhail Watkins and Rob Hugel. Right. Yeah. Um, what, uh, at what, at which point did you think that you had the biggest challenge while trying to get this project together? I mean, you got two big names right there, you know what I mean? What, what was the hardest thing to do? Surprisingly, casting wasn't the hardest part. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my executive producer, Jill Soloway, connected me to Rob and Michaela, who I had written the script in mind for. That's and good. within literally like an hour, I had emails back saying yes. So I was, very, I was very, very fortunate in that regard. The hardest part was definitely um, our timetable, which um, we crowdfunded the project. So to begin with, that was really hard. And to give you an idea of the timetable, we, we crowdfunded starting in, I built the Indiegogo campaign last May, mm. and then we crowdfunded in June. We did pre-production in July, we shot in August, and we were done with the film by the end of September, submitting to festivals. So wow. doing it in that condensed of a period was definitely a challenge, and I was working every day. No, it sounds impossible, but you did it. Yeah, well, um, I had a great team. Very good, very good. So, like you said, it's it's a comedy, it's funny, but it deals with very, very touching, heartfelt moments. Uh, what do you want people to get out of it when they uh, when they watch this movie and go out? What is the main message you think that this film has? I definitely want people to think about um, our modern, what I believe is like a fear of intimacy. When we connect now, it's often through social media, through a text message, and I think people are really thriving for real human connection. And I wanted, um, I wanted people to see a couple who can't communicate and can't be intimate, and for people to think about how intimacy reflects on their own lives. Really, do you think people are starting, to, or at least the new generations are starting to lose the capacity to connect with other people without a screen in between? I don't know. I, uh, I think because I feel like that's a danger. I think potentially. My generation, like Generation Y, we are email text heavy, but I've noticed like with my little brother, like they don't want to do Facebook anymore. They don't want to do, really? they don't want to do the social media. They're trying to connect on a personal level. So I think we rebounded in one direction so far that um, the next generation is seeing the negative effects and wanting their privacy back. So they're already reacting. So they're already reacting the other way, I think. I think uh, Generation Z really wants their um, really wants privacy. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. Anyways, um, okay, what can we look forward to in the future from you? Well, I have some exciting news about Cuddle Party. Just this morning we found out that uh, Tribeca Film Festival has acquired Cuddle Party to distribute it on airplanes, which is super exciting. Yes, congratulations! With a, with a short film, you never think that anyone's going to see it, All but right. now maybe like millions of people are going to see it. This is so great. that's very cool. And then I've been meeting um, with a lot of commercial production companies who really always have a capacity for comedy, so I'm thinking of getting into directing commercials, and then I'm also working on writing a feature right now. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Well, I am honored to have you, Matt. Uh, thank you so much for coming, and this has been wonderful. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. It's been awesome.